Alright, so today we are going to look at the 118th scale Lamborghini Murcielago Roadbot. Uh, just right off the bat, I decided to lay these guys out in their alt modes and compare the sizes. So we've got, of course, G1 Red Alert, and over here we've got the uh, Binal Tech tracks. And you can see quite a difference, even even the one, uh, even tracks, I mean, you can see there's quite a difference uh, in size. So, let's go ahead and take a look, a closer look at the Lambo. Alright, so this is a very nicely detailed um, alt mode, by the way. I mean, I, I think it's just the matter of the size, they can get a lot of detail in there. So let's go ahead and pop open the doors. And right away we can see it's, it's on a hinge there, so we got the Lambo effect there going on in full effect. Um, let's go ahead and take a look on the other side and, and take a look, closer look at the interior because it is quite detailed. Um, it, it's very nice. Now surprisingly this toy is made in China. It's uh, accompanied by the name of uh, Happy Well International. And uh, just kind of stumbled upon these robots uh, one day. I guess it was on eBay. Okay, so we got uh, the interior here. As you can see we've got quite a nice interior uh, we got the white faced uh, gauges there we've got the shift knob and some very nice oops, very nice racing seats so let's go ahead and do uh, a 360 view of this guy it's going to close the doors off here All right. So I'm going to go ahead and make a two-part uh, two uh, review. The, I tried to do uh, this whole thing in, in 10 minutes. I just uh, ran out of time and w there were some more features I wanted to, uh, to show you all. There. I mean, it's just very nice. Uh, take a look at the bottom here. And uh, head, and you can kind of see the robot legs. But it's not, it's not uh, terribly bad, really. And the arms here. They're ready, so let's go ahead and transform this bad boy. So, once again, there's the doors. What that's going to do is going to give you access to these side uh, skirts here, and these just pull out. See? And these do not get used in the robot mode at all. Lay them to the side. Same deal over here, pull it out. Alright. So let's go ahead and start with the legs. Um, just kind of want to start freeing up some panels here. This this pulls off, and this becomes kind of a shield later on. See? All right. So this panel lifts up. As you can see, there's a pretty nice engine block. Um, did you see there? All right. So this panel down here. going to separate right there so this is kind of there we go and just going to give you a preview this is going to be the weapon flips out like that and then um, there's another piece that goes in here well I'll show you that just a little later okay so <clears throat> these are just flaps this uh, there we go yeah it sounded like I broke it but it, it didn't just uh, flaps there now to free up the legs there's a slot right there. You kind of have to pull. There you go. So you can kind of see it there. And then there's the the tab is right where my finger is right there. All right. So let's continue on here. Kind of pull. There we go. So what you're seeing here, this is going to become the legs now. So what you want to do with this is, uh, this needs to come down. So you move the legs out, and bring that down like that, and then rotate the legs like that. Up, bring that down, so you just have some leverage to bring that down, and then rotate the round. And on the rear of the car here, these legs pull up. Nice ratcheting sound there. And these also have heels on them, so you want to pull out the heels like that. 
And then since this is the big the front of the car, rotate the, the feet around so that the uh, this little triangle, silver triangle, is in the front. <clears throat> so now you've got the bottom half. So essentially, what's going to happen with? Uh, let me go ahead and move the camera up here. With the upper part here, is this is this is going to fold down. On like the this the the whole hood of the car is going to go like that. Well, actually, first let's go ahead. I'm sorry. Let's bring these these arms out here. So basically, this is there's a, there's a hinge here. You want to just pull these out towards you, and get them far enough extended out so that the, it'll clear the wheel well here, and that will allow him to fully bring down his hood and form his chest. So kind of just pull it out. Let's go ahead and back up here. And pull out. It's kind of it's hard to see, but it basically you just need to. There's a hinge here. You need to pull out so that you clear these. So now, bring down. This and these arms. Well, actually, let's go ahead and, and go ahead and bring the head down as well. This steering wheel comes down like that uh, and then the head you kind of this piece right here push in there we go push in that creates enough gaps you can actually bring this guy up just the head up here and of course it's being Persnickety. Uh, I think actually, that's, uh, there we go. His head was kind of stuck there, so that's kind of my fault. All right, so we got his head there. These can be adjusted any way. I kind of like them out, kind of like wings. Alright, and then um, go ahead and bring down the arms here. Cool thing about these is they have um, whoops. these come down here as kind of like little uh, claws for them to use. See that? So I'm running out of time here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the arms out here, and uh, there we go. Uh, what we'll do next is I'll give you a closer look at the robot mode, and then uh, we'll do a little size comparison time. The other thing on the back here, the seats fold. You can see that fold down and kind of squish up against his side, and then this rotates up like that, I believe. So let's see if we get this guy standing correctly. Oh, there we go. Bring his chest down a little more like that. So, like I said, uh, since I'm kind of running out of time, we'll go ahead and outfit his weaponry. Well, we can actually probably fit this in here. I forgot to mention this uh, chest hood should pull out. Let's go ahead and and inside is the uh, part of the weapon here. Alright. Okay, so I will be right back and we'll go ahead and take a look at his weapons and look at him in a little more detail in his robot mode. So until then, goodbye.